Good morning! Isn't it crazy how we are right back in Barcelona Sid? Oh, I'm actually so excited. But I'm warning you from now, my eyes are tearing up at the littlest things and my nose is running. So please forgive me if you see any of that craziness in the video. But we're heading into the town. I'm going to show you what my outfit is looking like. I might even insert a couple pictures so you can see the actual glory of the outfit. And I'm bringing my bikini flip-flops and I'm going to go get a towel. So I can bring with me. I also have this crossbody bag. I didn't get pickpocketed last time, but I did hear a lot of stories and I continue to hear stories from people that travel. So I just have this bag um, secured. I might even put it in the tote bag, but I do want to take a picture with it because it's really cute. Uh, and I'm just going to grab a little towel to chill with on the beach that fits perfectly in my bag and we are good to go. I plan to eat a lot in this video, so don't think I'm a gluttonous or anything like that. We are going to just enjoy some food from Spain and I'm just gonna bring you along with me. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe and I'll see you in the next part. Honestly, Bye. I'm so grateful to the flight attendant uh, that taught me how to take the train here because now I feel like I love them. I love uh, but I do ask for help. I'm not gonna lie to you. Go anywhere and ask for help. When I'm in Jamaica, I ask for help. You cannot ever have too much help. So let's go on the train. get shorter or smaller notes so I think I'd prefer to find something like that again so upon me trying to find an ATM I found the Zara store so I didn't really show you guys much of anything but I went shopping and I got some stuff for me mommy friends and family um, so now I'm really gonna go over to the men's store and I'm gonna go find an ATM and then I'm gonna go eat because I'm really hungry, so let's go. Alrighty guys, so I finally got some cash. So now I can go to the market. This is Market de la Boquiria. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. So please forgive me if all of my pronunciations are wrong. But we're gonna go eat now, so let's... Uh, let the video begin <laughs> and I did step into a couple other stores I didn't buy anything and that's really what took me so long but we finally did it so let's go I will be buying some chocolate to bring back home I'm gonna start off with some empanadas and I'm gonna get the bacon patata oliva. So that's that one. I love bacon, so I think that would be just amazing. 
So let's get that, something to drink. I'm gonna find a seat outside and eat it and then come right back and find something else to eat. I know there's music playing in the background, but I got my empanada and I got my mango juice, so... popular item around here seems to be like the drinks and fruit but let's try some of the potato chips I'm gonna do the potato chips I think you can put a bunch of stuff on it so let's see how good that tastes Look at how huge that lobster, oh the crab, sorry, that crab is. Look at the shells, oh my god, and it smells like the sea. It literally smells fresh off the sea, wow. So it is Saturday, and it's Saturday evening now, and it's very, very crowded. Gotta be extra alert. But you can see everybody's kind of walking with their bags in front of them. Um, I was gonna get, you know, some stuff to go, like these open things. But just because I'm a little bit, you know, funny, there's a lot of flies <laughs> pitching on stuff, and I don't really like that. I think if some of them were like pre-packaged and like just put away for sale, then I would have bought it, but um, yeah. But it's super beautiful. Vidal Pons. Super beautiful. And then, oh, the presentation on this is just so pretty. Do you want anything? So beautiful, the presentation. Thank you. Alrighty, guys, I'm gonna go find a restaurant and we're just gonna sit down and eat because I need some food. I need some food. Let's go. So there's some things. Jamaica. Jamaica. Okay. Um. Anyways, guys. So. No, thank you. That's okay. Um. Let me just restart that. <laughs> All right. Let's try this again. Some things I ate I have in the first Barcelona vlog. So if you haven't watched that vlog, 
so I'm going to check it out but we're gonna go try the tapas and paella and I think I might get a sangria or I just might get a white wine so let's go try it out this street is so beautiful. So beautiful. There's so much pigeons flying around and they're kind of pooping, so I'm, I'm looking out. But how beautiful! Let me come in and do the story. I'll be right back. I wish I could really capture how, I don't know, just quaint everything is. There's a lot of stores along the street, but it just still has this history to it. Oh, I love it. my way into a local supermarket and this is what I'm gonna get along with some wine so that's Magdalena's Magdalena's sorry I thought it was a wine and this is Biscolat they all look really good I'm gonna try them so I'm gonna get some more and see what I can stuff in my suitcase because at this point I don't really have much space I still need to find somewhere to eat but I don't know I never knew I was such a picky eater oh my goodness I think I passed at least 50 restaurants like I don't know what's wrong with me but I do need to eat some like sustainable it may not be a word food but let's find the wine and check out So I just bought two bottles of wine and some sweets for myself. So I think it's fair to say, okay, no, I'm not done. I have 20 something dollars left. So it's fair to say that I can go buy myself some food and I need to stop, well not stop, yeah. I need to stop being picky. It's getting dark, but it's the perfect lighting right now. Let me go see what that restaurant over there has to offer. I'm gonna use my phone because it's just so beautiful. I have to show you. Like I cannot keep this to myself. Um, but I most definitely bless you. I most definitely am enjoying myself an apartment like this. Get out. I will not leave. Um, I just asked the police where the beach is, and he said at the end and to the left. So, guys, this is mad. Well, it's not a um. Maybe the very top floor is our apartment, but there's a restaurant right on this floor. And it looks like there's a restaurant on this one as well, but these are like completely closed off. Ooh, beautiful. Oh, it's KFC. Should I try KFC and compare it to Jamaican KFC since everybody want to act like Jamaican KFC is not the best? Oh, I think I... <laughs> that's so rude. I, just, I think I will try it.
the beach is right over here, so I need to find somewhere like with sand. But you can see the water. How cool! Wow. Sometimes I'm afraid though, like, oh, look at this. What is that? That is nice. Oh my god, look, the binocular. Okay, relax. Because I know some of my co-workers were gonna come down here. Beautiful. Very beautiful. Wow. Oh, These are so Cool, these old time phones. Finally found a little restaurant. There's a lot of people. We're gonna vlog. We don't care. Uh, it has paella. Um, ooh. Okay. I think I'm gonna get a paella mixta, which would be um, this one right here. So that's 76. And. Let's see what else we're gonna get. They don't have any tapas. At least I didn't see any. They got sangria. I don't know which one either, the tinto or the pava. I'm just so glad I finally found a place because I'm so tired. All right, let me hurry up. Here, paella mixta, which has I may butcher these things. Cigala, uh, mejillo, mejillones, calamari, pollo, castilla de cerdo, pimento, guisante, scampi, mussels, squid. Oh, that's the English version. So it has scampi, mussels, squid, chicken, superb sweet peppers, peas. Um. Yeah. Actually, I, I don't think that was the English version. I think that was a different, a different bunch of stuff. So it should be really, really good. You already know what it looks like. And I got the sangria cava. That one looks really good as well. Can't wait. Cannot wait. I think I might get a mojito as well. And then when I'm leaving, I may get a side of fries. Um, just to walk with. I like this place. I'm gonna take a picture of the bar. It's called Star Bar and I can show you exactly what the name looks like. Star Bar. Cafe Restaurant. So that's that's nice. We finally found it. And I know, you know what? We were walking for a reason. I have a feeling this food is about to be real good. Somebody dropped me home on a bike because honestly I'm gonna have to walk to a train station and then take a couple trains back to the hotel so yeah but I received my sangria and it's so amazing this one is the kava so delicious. Honestly, this is amazing. Mm. Mm. 
Now I'm just waiting on my food to come and I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna get back to the hotel. But we got this. All right, this is my paella. Maybe this is gonna be my last meal of the night. Maybe not. But this is actually looking amazing and it smells amazing. Wow. Let's get a better look at some of these details. that it's fitting that I'm having it in Spain because I think it's a dish from Spain so hot <laughs> mm. yeah I, God was telling me to keep walking God was telling me to keep walking and he told me to kind of sit down because this it's so delicious I forgot plus I asked her to charge my phone so I need to take um, some vertical pictures on my camera so I can upload it and share with you guys over on Instagram and TikTok but this is delicious oh my god it is really hot. So hot. Even when I blow on it, it's not enough. Oh my god. I mean, it is in a cast iron skillet. But it's so. I'm gonna be having paella more often. Maybe when I go to New York, I'm gonna be like, Katie, you need to take me to get some. <laughs> and it's sangria? Oh my god. Oh. Mm. And then, let me tell you how much it costs. The paella is 13 euros and 56 cents. And the sangria is 6 euros and 50 cents. So honestly, it's just a perfect night. For being completely honest, I'm tipsy. <laughs> I'm tipsy. The food is really, really good. I'm almost done. People have been speaking to me in Spanish, and I like. Picking up what they're saying by their body language and by their actions. So, in the supermarket, the lady was asking me basically if, like, are these things yours? Because somebody else was checking out and I had just put my stuff down. But the way she was holding up the divider and what she was pointing at, I um, she said it in Spanish. But guys, I didn't understand nothing that she said. So I was just like, see? Because her body language and what she was pointing to, she thought I spoke Spanish because she just kept speaking to me in Spanish. And I just kept shaking my head. And I said, gracias. At the end of the transaction. And that was it. And now this little old couple, it was the same thing. Different context. Well, same context, different story. And this little old man, they were leaving. He said something to me. It sounded nice. He could have told me some ugly like what. It sounded nice. So I just smiled and he laughed. Well, he didn't laugh, but he he, he smiled, laughed. So I'm faking. Oh my god, I'm so blurry. And you got me here talking this whole time and I was blurry. Yeah. So at least people keep looking at me, but. I'm talking to my beast, but I'm really hoping it doesn't look like I got a tan. I went out too late. I went out almost after 2 o'clock. If I had gone out at around 10 o'clock, going into 11 and 12, then I think I would have gotten a much better tan. But not this time. 
It keeps getting blurry. What is so special about the background? <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna finish the rest of my meal. Show you what it's looking like. Pay. Get my phone. Because she's charging my phone. Thank the Lord. Thank her. And then we're gonna take the train to our first stop and then go back to the hotel and go up to the pool and then we might get another drink and some more food it was just delicious well seasoned um honestly for my first time if i go from 10 and like take away it is just 10 out of 10 there's nothing to take away it came out early the sangria is great the seafood was great uh, I had chicken in there as well, so like nothing was forgotten. It was really, really good. I don't know if they don't take cash, but I think she's bringing a card machine. So let's see. Oh yes, <laughs> charging. Yeah, I I didn't forget. <laughs> do you do cash or just card? A uh, cash. Cash. How much? Twenty forty. Oh, let me give you this and then. Yeah. Okay. My camera is about to die, but when I tell you that was just so amazing, believe me, I will not play with you when it comes to food and experience. So let's go take the train home and I will see you at the hotel. Bye! Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more travel vlogs! I'm still in the train station and I figured out a way to basically cheat the system by staying in the subway but I have to go up and down and up and down and come back around but we're all good. I have two more stops until I am back at the station closest to the hotel so we're almost there. <laughs> and it's really really hot. Oh my god, I thought New York subway was hot. so much for watching please like comment share and subscribe drop a comment down below letting me know what you've been liking about these vlogs what you don't like constructive criticism constructive criticism and uh, let me know what you want to see next thank you guys so so much i truly appreciate every single one of you bye